feed whatever's going on here, the stronger the, the presence is, I think. We're here to just get to the bottom of really what that is that steps out into the road and steps right back in. I believe these are Native American spirits that are working with the Bigfoot on this property. We're, we're leaving Ockard, actually. Yeah. No, no, not yet. We're about to hit the interstate right now. Wow, okay, so we, we've shown up on property. Uh, we, we've met our, our hosts that, that called us to come out to investigate. Very genuine, very down to earth, very believable. Hi, I'm Chrissy Jordan. This is my husband, Cole Jordan. We live in Morganton, North Carolina. We've been on our property about eight years. So how long have we been married? We've been married 19 years. We actually uh, started out on the East Coast. So we've come from the East Coast to West Coast. Started out in the Wilmington area and moved to the Western side of North Carolina, what, 17 years ago? Yep. And been here ever since, we call it home. Yep. For me, between um, Wilmington and being on the coast and being up into the mountains, there were few unusual things that were going on with Cole seems to uh, have followed us around a little bit but this property to us has been quite unusual with the things that's been going on. As far as Bigfoot goes I'm not a believer and I'm not a non-believer. For the simple fact I'm more of a believer than I am a non-believer. And like I say, what I try to do, everything that happens or any kind of crazy circumstance, more or less, uh, I always try to put a logical reason behind it. And there's some things you just can't put a logical reason behind. Actually talking about things in our woods, there's been a lot of things going on lately and we have been watching our cameras a little bit more often and the reason we've called the Squatch Watchers out is because we have caught a video so super unnatural to me and the neighbors suggested that we contact you guys and here's what we actually caught in our video. Person that walks out of our woods and back in and drums beat behind it as it goes back in. Are you okay? So we're in there doing the interview, the opening interview to the investigation, and I've been uneasy since we stepped in the house. I'm really nauseous right now, so I had to get out here and get some air. So I get out here and I'm at the back, back of Toby's truck and I've got my head down and something keeps pulling me to the left of the property. So I heard something. Don't want to elaborate on what I heard because I, I don't know. But there's clearly a sign right here, right beside me. And it's just gonna blow your goal. We just pulled up, we've, we've been here 20 minutes. We have not started a full blown investigation but here's our first sign of something that we know we see on our hunt sites, our investigational property, right here.
definite activity, definitely worth investigating, definitely worth our time and, and, and interest doing this. And I really hope we can help them out. My, my biggest fear is, is that we're gonna start something, we're gonna supercharge something. And that's my only fear. Me personally, I think mine's tied to being a born again Christian. I think that I've had certain people in my life that taught me how to love that I didn't know how to properly do it before. I'm really, I'm really getting upset here. And once I, once I, I became okay with opening myself up to, to just everyone, then you can start feeling it come back. Well, once you feel it come back, sometimes you can't turn it off. And on the property that we hunt on a regular basis, there's a lot of energies and it gets overwhelming sometimes sometimes it just takes every ounce of, of energy i've got and i've got to lay down right where we are in, in the forest um so you know um so it you're may saying you feel drained zapped okay and i mean zapped 100 percent. how am i going to get back to the truck kind of deal you know <laughs> wow. i mean talking about batteries depleted it, we're, we're done uh, and it's happened umpteen times on investigations now. This is my first investigation I've been to someone's house where I felt it this strong. Um, you know, I could feel it when you and I were talking on the phone and I told you I, I didn't want to know anymore. There, that, the, the reason is, is I wanted to test for myself and so. The um, night or the day that you and I were talking on the phone that night before or the a couple days before he had called me and asked why my father was coming in on our uh, um, our Alexa calling his name I don't, don't know how to do stuff like that and so when I got back home he went to work but that night that room looked like smoke like if I was burning something in the kitchen and yeah. I hadn't even been in that so kitchen y'all have the mist it was real mist it looked like a fog yeah it's all in that room mist, fog, it's that room um, we We've, it, it, we've had it in other investigations and other properties that we frequent. Back to the night we were in uh, at the river and we heard something in the trees. What was it? Native American yes. tribal music. Yes. yes. Remember yes. when you heard the music in the trees? Yes, I remember. I remember. Uh, yeah. I remember when the wind would pick up ever so slightly and you'd hear like a distant echo of Native American chants, chatter, and, and drum beating music. And you would only hear it in the trees. Only in the trees. When it the wind be, blew. When the wind blew okay. in the wilderness. Second Samuel chapter 5 verse 23. And when David inquired of the Lord, he said, Thou shalt not go up, but fetch a compass behind them and come upon them over against the mulberry trees and let it be when thou hearest the sounds of a going on in the top of the tr mulberry trees that then thou shalt bestir thyself for then shall the Lord go out before thee and smite the host of the Philistines and David did so the Lord hath commanded to him and smote the Philistines from, from Geba until thou come to Gezer. He heard the Lord come to them in the trees. The Lord spoke to them in the trees. They spoke to us that night in the trees. And we have scripture to back that up now. So now I'm wondering what will we hear in the trees tonight? I'm not so sure it's not only paranormal here. I think that there could be some Bigfoot stuff tied in because during even interviews, we've heard knocks already in the background. I've not said anything to them because I'm not here to freak them out even more, to tell them there is a Bigfoot here. They can do that whenever they watch the video. But we're here to just get to the bottom of really what that is that steps out into the road and steps right back in. To me, it's really tall. Could it be a cloaked Bigfoot? I don't know, but that's what we're here to find out. And there's, there's certain evidence that could tie to Bigfoot and certain that couldn't, but we're here to just get to the bottom of it because we are the Squatch Watchers and uh, I'm excited for tonight, but as of right now, there's something happening here. There's something that's not supposed to be there that's there in the video and then immediately after, like I've said in the 
previous things. We've walked this road already, and there's no speed bumps that they could have hit to cause that ba boom, ba boom. We've been walking around, just kind of doing a walkthrough right now, just seeing how this place looks in the daytime. So at night, when we begin the investigation, as darkness falls upon this land, we don't get hurt. We know where we're at. The biggest reason I think there's Bigfoot inhabitants here is if you look around, you have water source, you have food supply, like the mushrooms and the, the plants and fruit, you have wildlife. Everything here can sustain a Sasquatch. I have seen many tree structure breaks and bends that could possibly be Bigfoot activity. I know they're leaning more towards a paranormal inhabitants here, but I think Bigfoot is intertwined here. They talk a lot about homesteads and Native American history. I believe these are Native American spirits that are working with the Bigfoot on this property. Well, the camera's right here. Yeah. On this tree right here, yes. Yeah. We actually own one acre right here, but there's 17 That's acres what it's around picking up. me. That's what it's picking up in the camera. That what little on the reflection. opposite side. Yes, yeah. what we thought That's was a reflection. vehicle. We That's not a vehicle. vehicle. That's just a, the white thing I thought was mm -hmm. a rim is that sticker. Because we thought it was not being like a truck or a truck bed mm -hmm. and the uh, rear view lights were reflecting off the camera. But it's not, it's a power box. Yep. Okay, so she's saying down here for more. Actually, we can bring up the video because I was yeah, looking at the video it. and it, I, got I, I was. I got it, it right looks here. Looks like fellas. it's behind this tree here to me. Yeah. The vines are out. Yeah. It's further on down somewhere. It's yeah. not that far down. Y'all get y'all probably get storms like everyone else, but like I'm just looking out here also, and I just see some stuff that just looks like a sort of like structures. And... Um, there is. I'm not sure how far out, but we can probably see part of it as we go down. There's rocks here that are, yeah. I found more of them out in the woods when we were out there. So, well, the good oh, news yeah. is I told oh, myself right we're great detectives, yeah. okay? How's that? Because I had come down you here and I was like, this is this tree, this is that tree, Because I don't like to find tree. out. Yeah. So, yeah, I like to keep everything a surprise. There's, so there's this. There's the transformer. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is. And here's out. this little group of trees, but it to me it so looks like it comes. It's from either behind. It's, I think it's right here. Hey, can you it, it don't you pick up this tree this here, does it? I know it see, picks up this little group of trees and it's definitely but see, behind there's it. that group of trees right there. Now see see out behind it. I mean it's, See, it's, it's, right it's, it's, it's right here. It's right here where you're pointing. Somewhere right in here. It's right here. It's right there, too. Yeah. It's right here because there's the power box mm -hmm. right there. Okay, so. But you see. You like, stepped in there and I like to faint it. Really? Now, I kid you not. You stepped in there and I like to faint it. Now, I mean, it hit me hard, brother. Oh, it's. Interdimensional. 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 Interdimensional is, yeah. is, is where I'm leaning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the reason being, we've already got physical activity physical proof of activity yeah should we, should we pray right now yes yeah all right dear lord we just want to come to this time and thank you for the opportunity to come out and praise your name again and witness to these people here on the property lord we pray for a, a ceiling protection no evil can touch us no evil can enter us lord we don't take anything home we didn't come with and that's just the love and the honor and the glory of god and jesus christ is in our heart lord we just pray for your protection on this team. We love you and we thank you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Love you guys. So, coming down through here, I already looked to the right over here and it looked like I saw a shadow figure. So, that's pretty crazy. It's pretty mm -hmm. wild. But it's right, but this is right in front of the place. Oh, wow, it is. This, because there's a camera. Here's the spot, right here. So, you know, we could use that thing there for honestly to try to uh, match it up just to see. Oh, yeah. Now that I can see right here. Yeah. Oh, right there. <laughs> this is the same view right here, David. All right. Now, right there. Either here or right there. So, we are in the spot. Okay. So, so, so watch, watch the, uh, the, the, the screen. Okay. Yeah, you're way down. It's closer. It'd right. be right here where Tate is. So, you look teeny tiny right there. I didn't even see you. 
Okay. I'll tell you right there. But it's taller, obviously. So hold your hand up. How can you see? You hear that? What was it? Something made a yell over here. Make a call. Who's your first person? Sick on my stomach. Whoop! Whoop! Are you seeing what I'm seeing right here? Yep. Oh, yeah. Canopies. Yep. X. X marks the spot. Yeah. And see, they didn't see all this. I have a feeling we're going to find a lot more than they know what to look for. Yeah. Here. So we're in the same area right now as where we heard where the, the security camera had the sighting and we heard the knocks on the camera. I'm going to get like, so, okay. I at least got the box in so they'll know that we're here. I don't want to trip y'all out, but it felt like something just tugged on my boat bag. Yeah. Like that. That I'm not, yeah. What happened? <laughs> it felt like, I, I hope I, you might've been pointing toward me, but after you made that knock and you said, y'all hear that? It felt like something went on my bag. I was like, whoa. They get pulled right here. They might've got it right there. Yeah, that's gonna be worth watching. Yeah. That sounds I've never heard before. What'd you hear? It sounded like it almost was like bling 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 bling. The bamboo. Yep. I'm gonna hyperventilate here. You can see the mound. I don't feel good about that. And look right here. And then I'm trying to find where there's pine tree. Well, there's a pine tree right there, so that could be a fall from the pine tree. But this is intriguing. That is definitely intriguing. Here's the top half of it. That ain't been like that long. That's maybe a week, two weeks old. You okay? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm swearing I'm seeing movement all in this place. I just don't know the area and I don't want to get lost. Well, like if, you, if we go down to like the bottom of that base and up, mm. I mean, once you hit the top of the hill, you take a right and you're, you're on your property oh, okay. here. Now we're on permission property right now, so we're fine being here. Okay. Fine. 
Looks like a, <laughs> I don't know. What do y'all think? Looks like it's twisted a little bit. I don't know. That's, that's one on me. Okay, here's the top of it broken off and it's thrown this way, facing. I don't know. I mean, that, that could be anything, but it's weird. How are y'all feeling right now? Cautious. Yeah. Does that make sense? How you feel? Uh, I feel okay at the moment. That's a big old mushroom up there on the ridge. I'm, my body's buzzing. Does that, that make sense? I'm here to be careful. What'd you see, Taylor? It almost looks like something with a red, like, red on it. Right through that, like, straight down. Straight down? Yeah. So, I'd like to go to that bottom. To that, to that landing down there. I'm gonna try to make my way. Are we alone? Are we alone? White ball and chain. I'm trying to love two women like a ball and chain. But why is it like that? I've never heard that song on the radio. Picking up, yeah. Alabama. I mean, I I know we got access over there, but I don't cross the bottom one. No. You hear that? Another uh, thud. Sound like something stepped stepped on uh, wood and crushed wood, like bark. You hear that? that was a, a, a solid knock. Not bad. Can you hear us? Hello? Can you hear us? If you want to come through, just let us know.
that area, right there, something yeah. moved. At that tree? That, that, that tree right there on the interior was moving, <coughs> and you were on the other side. You were nowhere near that area to make that tree move. Well, funny you mention that. I walked up here on my own and seen a slender shadow figure move from right and back left real quick and then fork trees straight ahead of me at that cliff. Okay. We're on yeah. a mound of rocks right now. A mound of rocks? Yeah. I gotta see this. But there's a solid rock. But there are a bunch of little ones everywhere. Just on a We're on a mound of rocks. You're right, David. Yeah. Okay. I'm just looking. I mean, I'm at all these rocks. Yeah. Look at that. This is gonna be an old Indian burial ground. Yep. I hate to ask this. We know you're here. Show us. Can you show yourself? Can you show us what was on their camera screen? You hear something over here moving? Yep. Straight ahead of us. So we've mm -hmm. been thinking about coming and staying for a week or two. Seeing what we can find out. What do you think about that? If you don't want us to do that, can you show yourself? We want to see a figure. We don't want to see the black balls. Don't want to see no meaty black balls. <laughs> hey. See that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Some movement over there. Yep. There's what fell. That limb right there. Mm -hmm. And I know limbs fall. It happens. You know, it's a it dead limb. The timing is everything. There's something over here. I'm getting cold chills. Yeah, so oh, I got cold chills just now. Great, Scott. You see you rolling? Yeah. Kill that lot. Kill this lot. Hang on, you can see it. In front of you. It's right here, straight in front. Look, you see the mass? I can't see him camera blind. Keep going, David. Do you see it? Straight ahead of us, Taylor? Yeah, right here. You heard that, right? Oh yeah, heard both of them. Okay. We're almost right here before you showed yourself on the camera. Show yourself up. Let us know you're here. Now let's see it. Move it over here to the left. Who lives here? Yeah, picking up figure because something's right up here. You're not. When I say quit, there, there it is again. There's two flashes right up here, back to back. And that's going to be right straight where the spot was marked on the property. Right straight in front of it. Oh, wait a minute. I think I see one. I'm, 
I'm just, you go ahead. Don't worry okay. about me. I'm, I'm, I'm just following. <clears throat> you okay? Huh? You okay? Here's some over here. Behind us, right yeah. here. It's Oops. almost like a whoop. Yep. The Taylor's rolling, you're filming. This is a rarity for me. Touch me. If you're here, touch me. If you're here, touch me. Let me know. Oh, there's something. Do you feel anything right now, David? Not particularly, no. Hey. There's something on him waving at us. It's right behind him. It's slender. It's tall. Now that's, it's, it's off showing. his arm. Yeah. Touch me. Now it's gone. There's a flash of light over there, by the way. Just Where, there? Yeah. I think this trail takes you on up to the house. It does. It comes right in behind that, that, that mark. And if you look over here, that could be anything, but there's an amber light in the woods. You see it? I come in between right Oh, there. yeah, I do see it out there. I don't know what it is. We but always you, get those. But you know what happens when we have amber lights in the woods. Yep. Anything else has your oh. 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 David Taylor, oh, yeah, when we all toes. lead the way. When we all lead the way. I saw it. I don't know. You tell me. I mean, there's toes in it. Okay. Fellas, Move that's it. that's fresh. There is a print. This one, two, and three. Those, I, I'm, I'm gonna say claw marks. One, two, three. Three toed. That yeah, is, that's three that toed. not good. That's bad juju. Yeah. And let me tell you, that's fresh. Are we gonna tell the homeowners? Well, I don't know how you can't not tell them because this is going right to where, I think we should. where the tree break is, oh, is yeah. it. And I'll give you another, even more unsettling theory. It's standing here or stepping here, right? Mm hmm. Look what you can see all the way through oh, here. Oh, yeah. Got a vantage point to the house. Oh, yeah. Window to the house. Watching them. Hang on a second. Let's see if they, you can see that. There's the house. Root Perfect root. spot. Yep. Okay, the root root. Up in there's the house. Clear as day. Hey. Right hey, guys. I mean, Look at the fall. symbol. Look at the face the house is making. The face. Oh, what is that? Look at that. Looks like the screen face. Yeah, it looks like a... Oh my God, yeah. David. Yep, you can see it clear as day. Look at that. <laughs> that's that's creepy. So we just came out where we saw that footprint on the side of the ridge. Yeah. There's the house. Yep. Straight window shot, vantage point, looking at their house. Alice? Yeah. Let me come help you. We didn't realize how bad this, this tree mess was right here. See That's the twisted one on the ground? These are just twisted into nothing. 
Look at that one. I'm, Same that's one. What I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, that ain't just broke. Those are just twisted into nothing. Tell me how you feel. That's crazy. You recently showed yourself right here looking at this family. Come and visit with us. Um, had some very uneasy feelings down there. There's a lot of mounds, a couple of mounds, and there one I didn't, I didn't feel good about at all. Limbs are gonna fall out of the trees. They're gonna happen. But how often does a limb fall right there when you're talking and trying to say, you know, make your presence known? Just a little one, you know, like, you know, yay big, and it just goes, and it falls all through the limbs and the branches. You can see everything moving. But it was it was after we were trying to, you know, can you make yourself known? Mm -hmm. uh, um, so, you know, lots of eye play down there. You don't know what, I mean, I can't tell you what we've seen. Uh, at one point, I know Taylor thought he saw something that had a red hue to it. And I'll never see that. It looked like it had like a red, like just kind of like a red shoulder or something like that. The, it, <laughs> the most unsettling thing we found was a print. A print? Yeah. What kind of print? And it, and it lines up, you know, it's down there coming off that trail. Something has stepped up and you, it's, it's fresh and I'm talking yesterday or today and I mean fresh when I say fresh uh, and it's got a clear view of the house and it's looking diagonally you can see the house like it's nobody's business they've got the house on film and the house is actually has a face to it if you will y'all can see all that and make your own decisions you know actually get everything put together yeah. um, but the print is scary you know something physical left that print but it's it's like a three three things. It's, it's gonna be clothing or three toed and that's wow. what bothers me. The thing that you have to this is again, this is all my opinion, okay, because I don't claim to be professional at anything. I just know that you're a conduit. I'm a battery. Okay, mm -hmm. things will happen more when I'm around than, than maybe other times. Mm -hmm. It's just how I feel, whether I'm right or wrong about that. The guys can tell you some some weird stuff that's happened. You know, be dead, and they'll hand me something, and all those all hell breaks loose. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's just my feeling. But y'all are okay with what's going on, and y'all need to make sure that you you communicate that on a, on a regular basis. We'll share it with you, but this is ours. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you need to make sure to understand that they, they know who you are, what you stand for, and that you're not gonna allow them to harm you or your friends or your family. And I mean, guys, this stuff happens more than you can imagine. Mm -hmm. And you can't go anywhere on a piece of property where there's not been death mm -hmm. or misfortune. Because how, how many thousands, thousands of years, of years. You know have, have the Indian people that. lived yeah. in, this, in this country? Yeah prior to and when I see the mounds and there's a lot of rocks on the mounds and I'm going is this a tribal burial site you know are we where we're not supposed to be you know we don't desecrate we don't move rocks nothing like that you know uh, but I mean there's there's lots of things on the previous property that we go to a lot no doubt in our mind it's either it's either Indian burial sites or Bigfoot burial site. It's one of the two. Mm -hmm. Okay? And we didn't know all hell started breaking loose on the property, but it was only after the owner took a bulldozer down there and started clearing some spots and uncovered what he thought was a thigh bone. You know, you've got all of our numbers and, you know, texts. I mean, just if you want to keep in touch, hey, mm -hmm. you know, things have calmed down a lot since you guys were here. Mm -hmm. Things mm -hmm. picked up. You guys are not going to believe what just happened.
Oh yeah, those are different ones. What's the one lot up right there? 